So if we see an article with Donald Trump that says rape, and you know, maybe he's admitting it or not, I don't know. But, uh, okay, and you have a little boy that was maybe me once that said rape, or you have from Greece, Athens over there, one of your users. It kind of suggests there was a boy that was alive that the cowboy Hick Harry, or one of you guys, Hickens, took and, you know, used for your own personal sex toy. See, it could be that some rich people had a plan to help cure people, and then, you know, Joe and them came through and wrecked it because they wanted the color blue, and then you bit it back to four, or the blue boys came back in to retrofit in their shit. So, Bernard, when you do that, and you all get sick, hmm, then you guys have no respect for those who have money, <laughs> you know, those are the ones you need to respect so they can rebuild the thing and make it work instead of, you know, your guys' Comic-Con way to think that was the old Google, but it wasn't even close, which I'm trying to prove that you guys raped me, Kim, <laughs> Bailey, maybe Kate, or some of my other friends to change your shit in for the DJ faggot Dave. That's always been the argument. And that's who he stalks, is those families who knew how to get it to work. And they either die or leave because you're fucking psychopath, David. Stan. Because you go against your father and people who are in the military that maybe had a little more knowledge than you. And I'm interested in that, in making something real work, instead of a bunch of criminals or sick people running around, or Carney fucking up everybody's life, censoring it when they're not, because those people with money download the stuff and watch you guys act like idiots.